Hello, uh, thanks for uh, watching the channel. Uh, today is kind of a different video today. Uh, I had a question, well, a request from somebody that wanted me to talk about my playing style, which uh, I'm glad to do. I don't know if that means that you actually want to learn my playing style or what that means, but I figured, hey, uh, it's a pretty easy video to make. So uh, I just want to explain uh, what my playing style really is. Uh, when they talk about my playing, I think what they mean by talking about my finger style is what they mean. They want to hear about my finger style. Uh, some people have noticed that I play with my fingers. I don't really think much of it when I'm playing with my fingers. I think that comes from... Uh, I played bass. I didn't necessarily start out on bass. I started on acoustic guitar, but uh, I, I guess I just started playing the bass and then I just never went back to playing with a pick after I started playing bass. And that was probably about a year into playing guitar. I used to play with a pick when I was a kid. I would lose all the picks, and I think that's probably the main catalyst for why I don't play with a pick is because I lost them when I was a kid. Uh, but uh, there are there's basically a couple different techniques of when I watch myself that I notice that I do when I play with a pick. Sometimes I use my actual fingers like this. I don't know if you can hear that. See how I'm using like my uh, my middle finger? I'm just using the finger. And sometimes I switch to my index finger. Now when I switch to my index finger, I notice that instead of using my actual finger, like on my middle finger, I actually start moving my wrist which is more conventional. So I really don't think of my playing as very unconventional because I'm still using my wrist, which I think there was a, a period when I really wanted to improve, like a few years ago, when I I just couldn't really get my playing up to where I was until I started kind of using my wrist on some stuff. And I try, and mostly when I practice, I'm using my wrist like this, which is pretty conventional. It's basically just like I'm using the tip of my finger as a pick. Like that. See, I'm using my, the tip of my index as a pick, kind of, and I'm using my wrist, okay? And, uh, I feel like that uh, my actual finger style, which is kind of like a flamenco style with my middle finger, see how I, I, I'm actually using my finger on that, it lends itself more to, to smooth jazz. Now I'm not really a jazz player, and I'm also not really a, a metal player. My, uh, my main influence is Jimi Hendrix. Uh, that was who I idolized when I was a kid. I also liked Prince a lot when I was a kid. And I still do. I mean, it's not just from when I was a kid, but you know how it is when you're a kid. You idolize people. And they both play with picks, but I never even had a second thought about playing, not playing with a pick. I, I just, I, but after this, t 
amount of time not playing with pick, I absolutely cannot play with a pick now, unless I'm playing acoustic. Now, if I'm playing acoustic, I like to play with a pick sometimes because you can really you can really get a good volume out of an acoustic guitar, but with an electric guitar, it doesn't really matter as much if you play with your fingers. I don't really think much much of it, I don't think it's that really unusual. Uh, I, I don't know if I'd even recommend not playing with a pick, but it's just what has come natural to me. There are a lot of guitar players that are, are really good, and sometimes I think maybe I should start using a pick if I really, really want to get good, but then I try, and then I sound really awful when I play with the pick. And uh, so I, I'm not saying that you should play with a pick, or you should not play with a pick, but that's just the way that I play. I think it sounds better. It, it lends itself more to jazz, like this, which I, sometimes I go through phases where I play like smooth jazz types of playing. Like I'm not like a music geek. I don't really know what I'm doing when I do like the jazzy stuff. I'm not really quite sure what half of those chords are. I just kind of, uh, I just play what sounds good to me. And uh, I guess maybe I could be embarrassed that I don't really know the chords, but that's a re that's probably one of the reasons why I'm not like a guitar teacher. Uh, I mean, music is my passion, but I always found it really annoying trying to be a guitar teacher because I don't really know the names of a lot of chords and the names of a lot of notes that I play. Like I know the names of the notes on the guitar. But like, it's like I have to think about them. Uh, but the funny thing is, is uh, that when it comes to playing bass, uh, I played bass in the high school jazz band and I learned how to read uh, the bass clef and how to do walking bass lines. They were written out back then. Uh, when I was in high school, they would write out the walking bass lines. Now I know in the real world in jazz, you don't really use that. but. To say it called the high school jazz band, it was more of a big band, like Glenn Miller type of stuff that they would play. And I, I have dabbled in the, uh, the upright bass, and uh, I used to practice the upright bass uh, fairly regularly when I had a, a nice upright bass, but uh, I, it was a, it's a, it's a whole nother story. It was a bass that I bought from a guitar show and I repaired, and it sounded really good, and then the repair failed. And uh, I got used to playing that nice one, and all I had left before that was a uh, was a K bass that I've been playing before. But I just can't play that K bass after playing that nice one where the the neck repair failed. But uh, I can read uh, I can read like quarter notes and easy notes for like uh, jazz bass, and sometimes I like to get funky with the bass and. Uh, Sometimes when I get funky with the bass, my my hands start to hurt, and because it's it takes a lot of pressure with your left hand if you really get funky with it, or if you you're playing your ass off. Like I can play my ass off with the guitar from my left hand. It doesn't always sound good with my uh, my guitar playing. Doesn't always sound good. I feel like I I do make a lot of mistakes, and it's just something that I'm constantly working on. Uh, I, you know, it, it's, I, I, I feel like that a guitar, uh, it's not just me. I mean, people do put rude comments on my stuff. A lot of, most of my comments are really nice and it's, it's really weird when people give me nice compliments and I, I'm really, uh, uh, it makes me, it makes me feel weird when people give me nice compliments. It does, but it makes, it does also make me feel bad when people leave mean comments. Like I got a couple mean comments, like some, some guy left a comment in Spanish that was like, uh, it's like, I don't know if the guitar's bad or if your playing's just really bad. And that was on a video I did like a year or two ago. And I will admit that my playing in that video was pretty bad. And I, I, I admit that, it, I mean, I, I hear my mistakes and uh, I'm trying to improve. And uh, I mean, I make a lot of mistakes. And uh, 
mostly, I guess I, I'm trying not to let it bother me too much because I try to be like a songwriter. Like I play in an actual band and I do solo with the band, okay? But what I do with YouTube and what I do with my band are two completely different things. It's like when you're in a band, you only have to solo for like half a minute to make it sound good. And sometimes it can get old and tired. You know, you play the same old pentatonic stuff and the stuff the stuff that's just like shooting from the hip or motor memory. And that can it, it, that can get old. Uh but uh I mean I I constantly try to improve and sometimes you think that you're good and then you hear a video back and you and you don't feel like you're as good as you thought you were, but uh, I guess that basically describes my playing. Uh, this is right here, this is a homemade Telecaster copy. Uh, some guy was making this in, uh, with a CNC machine, I assume it was a CNC machine in his garage and I bought the body and the neck from a guitar show and that, that's what I'm gonna be playing in the video and I actually think the take I did with this is better than what I did with the last video I did which was the uh, the Ingve Strat versus the Mexican Strat I actually think that the playing was really sloppy but it's it's really hard to uh, to get a really good take of just improvising when you got your microphones hooked up and you're trying to record at the same time because I'm using like a hero camera it's not just a webcam but it's really hard to line up the audio with the camera. And so I just play for a long time and just let the people hear what it is and not try to pick out the best parts. Because if I wanted to take time, I, I'm sure I could do better than what that than the last video. Because there's definitely a ton of mistakes. But I, I didn't really want to... Like, add, like, when a guitar guitarist goes in the studio, they usually chop stuff up and stuff. But like, you can't do that if you're trying to do, like, a live video recording with it. So that's, that's what that is. So, uh, in conclusion, that's pretty much what my playing style is. Is It's just moving your finger. Mostly, like, to move my middle finger. Sometimes I, I do move my index finger. But... I also use my wrist too, like that, which is more conventional, but uh, we'll see.